Hi Tenfold, it's Chewy here from Kruger's Dog West Trend. I have a question for you, I hope you can help me. It says, in the diagram ABC is an isosceles triangle, with AB is equal to BC, the line DE cuts AC extended at F, if AD is equal to 5, CE is equal to 3, and EF is equal to 8, find the length of DE. Thank you. All right, thank you, Dewey. It's a really great question. It's actually quite challenging. Let's look at it. It says, in the diagram, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle, which means those two sides are equal. AB is equal to BC. The line DE, DE, cuts AC extended at F. Okay, so it basically, okay, we've labeled our diagram wrong, but basically they're just saying that this line here cuts this line here at that point, okay? Lastly, it says, if AD is equal to five minutes, okay, this is all completely labeled wrong. Basically, it's meant to say that BC is equal to five, EF is equal to eight, and FD is equal to three. Find the length of BF, okay? So we need to find this length X over here. Now, the nice thing about an isosceles triangle if we have a line drawn parallel to one side of it and we have a length there, automatically this length is the same because of the similarity and the proportion theorem. If this is isosceles, it means that those two segments are going to be equal to each other. So if we draw point G so that BG is parallel to CD. So we put G over here G over here, so that BG is parallel to CD. It means that this segment is equal to that segment, which means that GF is two units because this whole segment is five, three plus two is five. Okay, so now because we're completely running out of time, guys, I'm just, I'm basically gonna run through the proof for this. Now, if you look here, because we've established a length there, we have, similar triangles over here because this angle is going to equal this angle vertically opposite this angle here is going to equal this angle there why because of alternate angles these two lines are parallel to each other and then obviously this angle will equal this one because of remaining angle so you can say that triangle b g f is similar to triangle will be EDF because B or it would be GBF is equal to FED alternate angles and BG is parallel to CD GFB is equal to DFE because they're vertically opposite these are these angles here. And then obviously the last angle, BGF is equal to EDF remaining angle. Okay, write these all out in full. So these two here are similar because of angle, angle, angle. Now, if we look at the ratios that we have, we can say that BF, which is what we're trying to find, over GF, BF over GF is equal to EF over DF, EF over DF. And why is that? Because of similarity. Okay, so now we can substitute in the numbers. We're trying to find BF over GF we found was 2. It's equal to EF, which is given to us as 8 all over df, which is given to us as 3, which means that bf is equal to 2 multiplied by 8 all over 3, which equals 16 over 3. You could make it a mixed fraction, which means it would be 5 and a third. <laughs>